Prince William will follow in the footsteps of his wife Kate, during his tour of the Middle East later this month, Kensington Palace has confirmed. The Duke of Cambridge will visit Jordan, Israel, and the occupied Palestinian territories across four days from Sunday, June 24. During his first visit to the region, William will visit Jerash, a first-century Roman city in Jordan, which his wife Kate visited with her family some 34 years ago. Kate's family moved Amman, the capital of Jordan when she was just two years old, and the Middleton family lived there for two and a half years, before returning to the UK. In a sweet throwback snap released by the Middleton family, before Kate's royal wedding to Prince William in 2011, a four-year-old Kate is pictured with her sister Pippa and father Michael, at the historic site. The Duke leaves for Amman on the morning of June 24, and will be greeted by Jordan's Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, when he arrives at Markan Airport. William will then visit FabLab, an initiative of the Crown Prince Foundation that seeks to equip young entrepreneurs, before delivering a speech at a Queen's birthday party, at the residence of the UK Ambassador. The Duke has then been invited to a private dinner with the Crown Prince Hussein at Beit al Urdan, the King's private residence, where William is honoured to stay overnight. A Kensington Palace statement said, The Duke is very pleased that this visit will allow him to begin a relationship, with the Crown Prince Hussein that will be important in the decades to come. On the morning of June 25, William will visit the historic Jerash city to celebrate a Meikani program, for young people supported by UNICEF. He will then travel to the north of the country to visit a new base for the Quick Reaction Force, which the British military has been supporting. In the afternoon William will visit Dharnama Center, which was set up by Princess Tagarid to support women of all ages, before the Duke returns to Marka Airport, where he will meet with crew involved in the Jordanian Air Ambulance. William will then visit Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories, where he will visit Yad Vashem, Israel's official memorial to the Jewish victims of the Holocaust, as his first official engagement on June 26. The trip will be immensely poignant as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, visited Stuthof concentration camp last year as well as the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe in Berlin. William's visit to Israel and Palestine is at the request of Her Majesty's government, and it is the first official royal visit at their request. Many of the details of his visit are being held as a closely guarded secret, by the royal family and UK government due to political tensions in the region. A Kensington Palace statement said, the non-political nature of His Royal Highness's role, in common with all royal visits overseas, allows a spotlight to be brought to bear on the people of the region, their cultures, their young people, their aspirations, and their experiences. The Duke's goal will be to meet as many people from as many walks of life as possible, and to use the spotlight that his visits will bring to celebrate their hopes for the future.